Mount Everest, the boss of the Himalayas and the ultimate flex of nature, is more than just the tallest mountain on Earth. This 29,000-foot show-off isn't just sitting around. It's literally getting taller every year. Yep, Everest is like that one friend who won't stop growing. And it's all thanks to some wild geological drama. Picture this. Tectonic plates bumping and grinding like they're at a rock and roll concert, causing the Earth's crust to push upward. And while erosion tries to play the villain, shaving bits off, Everest just keeps rising like it's got a point to prove. Turns out, this mountain is not just a peak, it's a peak performer in the game of nature's power moves. The impressive height of Mount Everest. Standing at an impressive 29,032 feet, Mount Everest dwarfs its Himalayan neighbors, such as Kanchenjunga and Lotz. It has long been considered the ultimate challenge for mountaineers, not only because of its height, but also because of its treacherous terrain and harsh weather conditions. What many people find surprising is that this already towering peak is slowly but steadily getting taller. While the annual growth is only a few millimeters about the width of a strand of spaghetti over thousands of years, these minor changes accumulate to a significant increase in height. Since the last 89,000 years, Everest has risen by approximately 164 feet, showcasing the gradual but persistent forces of nature at work. How Mount Everest was formed The Collision of Continents the origins of Mount Everest can be traced back around 50 million years to a monumental collision between two of the Earth's tectonic plates. The Indian plate, moving northward at a speed of about 5 centimeters per year, collided with the Eurasian plate in a dramatic geological event. This collision caused the Indian plate to begin subducting, or sliding beneath, the Eurasian plate. The immense pressure and friction generated by this collision caused the Earth's crust to crumple, pushing up massive rock layers that eventually formed the Himalayan mountain range, including Mount Everest. This process of mountain building, known as orogeny, is responsible for the formation of some of the world's most iconic peaks. The Himalayas are a relatively young mountain range in geological terms, and their continued growth is a direct result of ongoing tectonic activity. The Indian and Eurasian plates are still converging today, maintaining the forces that contribute to Everest's gradual ascent. The role of isostatic rebound in Everest's growth. While tectonic activity is the primary driver of Everest's height, another critical factor is the concept of isostatic rebound. The Earth's crust, despite appearing rigid, behaves like a flexible sheet under immense weight. Beneath the crust lies the mantle a semi-fluid layer that exerts an upward buoyant force. This force counteracts the weight of massive geological features like the Himalayan mountains. When the crust is compressed by the weight of a mountain range, it sinks slightly into the mantle. Conversely, when sediment is removed from the surface, the mantle pushes the crust upward in a process known as isostatic rebound. In the case of Mount Everest, the immense weight of the Himalayas causes the crust to sink into the mantle. However, the buoyant forces of the mantle also push back, ensuring that the mountains continue to rise. This delicate balance between downward pressure and upward buoyancy plays a crucial role in Everest's continued growth. The Impact of Erosion on Mount Everest While tectonic forces are vital to Everest's growth, erosion is an equally important factor. Approximately 89,000 years ago, a significant geological event reshaped the topography of the region. The Arun River, located to the east of Everest, changed its course and merged with another river flowing north of the mountain. This convergence created a massive water system with enhanced erosive power. The combined force of these rivers began to wash away billions of tons of sediment from the surrounding region. This large-scale erosion reduced the weight of the Earth's crust, allowing the mantle's buoyant forces to push Everest higher. In essence, erosion indirectly contributed to the mountain's growth by relieving the downward pressure exerted on the crust. This fascinating interplay between erosion and isostatic rebound highlights the interconnectedness of Earth's natural systems. Seismic activity 
and its influence on Everest. Another factor that significantly contributes to Mount Everest's growth is seismic activity. The Himalayan region is considered one of the most seismically active areas on Earth, largely due to the relentless collision between the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates. This collision generates enormous pressure in the Earth's crust, which is periodically released through earthquakes. These seismic events not only reshape the region's landscape, but also cause minor adjustments to the height of Everest. For instance, some earthquakes result in uplift, where sections of the Earth's crust are pushed upwards, adding to Everest's height. On the other hand, other seismic activities can lead to subsidence or slight lowering of certain areas, although such occurrences are less common. While these changes are usually subtle compared to those caused by tectonic plate movements or erosion, they are a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the Himalayan range. Over centuries, the cumulative effects of seismic activity have played a small but consistent role in shaping Everest's structure and height. How much has Everest grown over time? The growth of Mount Everest is a product of millions of years of geological activity, but the most significant changes have occurred over the past 89,000 years. During this period, the cumulative effects of tectonic activity, erosion, and isostatic rebound have added an estimated 164 feet to the mountain's height. This growth, though slow and steady, highlights the relentless forces that shape our planet over vast timescales. Scientists have determined that the current annual growth rate of Mount Everest is several millimeters, roughly equivalent to the thickness of a strand of spaghetti. While this rate may seem negligible on a yearly basis, it becomes substantial when viewed over thousands of years. This gradual rise underscores the continuous interplay of natural forces, including the ongoing collision of tectonic plates and the mantle's upward buoyant push. The fact that Everest continues to grow today is a reminder of the Earth's dynamic processes, which, though imperceptible in our daily lives, are always at work shaping the world around us. The Future of Mount Everest's Growth Scientists predict that Mount Everest will continue to rise for millions of years, driven by the ongoing collision between the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates. However, the pace of this growth is expected to remain slow, occurring at just a few millimeters annually. Despite this consistent upward movement, the forces responsible for Everest's ascent are not eternal. Over geological timescales, the tectonic activity fueling this growth will diminish as the plates eventually settle into a more stable configuration. Simultaneously, the mantle's buoyant forces, which currently counterbalance the weight of the mountain range, may weaken due to shifting subsurface dynamics. Furthermore, erosion will play an increasingly significant role in shaping Everest's future. Rivers, Glaciers and wind will gradually wear down the mountain's surface, and as erosion begins to outpace tectonic uplift, Everest's height may start to decline. Although this reversal is expected to occur over millions of years, it highlights the ever-changing nature of our planet. For now, Everest stands as a growing monument to the extraordinary forces that continue to sculpt Earth's surface. Everest as a symbol of natural power and human ambition. Mount Everest is much more than a geological marvel. It is a symbol of human ambition, resilience, and the enduring spirit of exploration. For climbers, Everest represents the ultimate challenge, a test of endurance, determination, and skill. However, the mountain's increasing height and the changing conditions brought about by climate change make it an even more formidable adversary. Thinner air, shifting terrains, and unpredictable weather patterns add layers of difficulty for those who dare to ascend its icy slopes. Beyond its physical challenges, Everest holds profound significance for scientists. Studying the mountain provides valuable insights into the Earth's tectonic processes, the history of climate change, and the complex interplay of natural forces that shape our world. These scientific endeavors not only enhance our understanding of Everest, but also contribute to broader knowledge about the planet's geological and environmental systems. Thanks for watching. If Everest keeps growing, who knows maybe one day it'll get Wi-Fi at the summit. 
Until then, let's leave the climbing to the pros and the science to the experts. Don't forget to scale that like button, summit your thoughts in the comments, and elevate our channel by hitting subscribe. See you at the top, virtually, of course.